All right, everybody, this is Ben Tallarico here again, and I am going to be going over integration of MailChimp into your ClickFunnels. Now, ClickFunnels has tons of integration, um, so it's kind of just really up to you what you really want to use. They have, you know, get response integrations. Uh, let me see here, integrations right here. So they have Git response, they have uh, MailChimp, they have all types of different things. So it just depends on what you're using. Um, they do have their own email system called Actionetics, which that is for the little bit higher packages. It's 297, but it also integrates in with your sales funnels. Now the nice thing about Actionetics is that it keeps track of uh, buyer information. Um, you know, hot leads, stuff like that. You get to see how much each buyer is worth to you over a period of time. So as you're keeping the optimization of, hey, my customer's worth $10, so I can spend at least, you know, $9 on a lead, and I know my my uh, my client is worth 10 so I'm making at least a dollar per lead if I'm spending $9 per lead. But um, anyway, enough about that. So what I am going to talk about is the integration of MailChimp. So as you can tell here, I got MailChimp already integrated. And so as you can see, MailChimp, MailChimp is a service and the API key. So uh, if you go here, let me go back to the beginning here. All right, so you're in my MailChimp. You go here, and then you should be able to, uh, let's see, I think, is it connected or accounts? Okay, it goes under accounts, so as you can tell on the, on the free plan, uh, integrations. And then from integrations here, you can go into Facebook, and then you can do other things. Uh, let's see, I think it's under, yeah, extras, API keys. So under the API keys where you get the API key to go and put into your ClickFunnels back here. Now, once you've actually got it hooked up to ClickFunnels, which I'm going to show you here. By the way, guys, if you, I am going to be giving this away for free. Um, this is something I've been using with my business, but also too, I know a lot of people have been using this for um, gaining clients on online with uh, social media marketing uh, for lead gen. So I will be putting that link in the um, in the box below the video here on YouTube, so you can grab it. It's a free thing for you. All you gotta do is just change the backgrounds, you know, make the information for what you want it, but it pretty easy peasy. All right, so if we go into the edit page here, then we go into settings, integrations. It's pretty easy. So anyway, I'll go ahead and remove my integration just so you can kind of see. So then you'd select MailChimp, and then I want to add to list, and then I want to do web devs. And then you want to make sure this is off do not send confirmation email and the reason why you want to do that is because of the fact that uh, it's a double opt-in at that point if you do do that so you have a lot harder chance of getting people to stick to your uh, email marketing campaigns because of the fact that they have to opt in again after they've already opted in on your page kind of gets wishy-washy at that point. So I know there's some countries, I know United States isn't one of them, but um, I believe Canada is a double opt-in country to where you actually have to have that um, for spam purposes. But I always do do not uh, send confirmation, but that's just me personally. But once you get that set up, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. You can, uh, like on, for example, on this, uh, once people come to this landing page, they see this, they hit this, boom, give me my voucher. They can go in here, put in their email, their first name and their phone number, then do that. Then this sends their information over to my, and then we'll just do it for giggles here, so.
So give me my voucher. Boom. So then it comes you to the thank you page, you know, and then information on there. Uh, you know, so then call this because of the fact that there's a limited uh, there's a limited time on getting your uh, free Facebook ads assessment. So then if I come back here into my list, this is one I just created. Let's see here. Where did I put it? So let's see here. Oh, did I not do it right? Make sure integration, Mailchimp add to list, web dev sign up, do not send. Okay. Uh huh. That's why I forgot to save it. Da -da -da. Now I gotta go back here and make sure I change this real quick. Because if I didn't change it, then it's gonna constantly keep going in here. And it's there. Go figure. So let me. Should be able to delete these here. Contacts. And that's one thing you'll learn too, um, if that ever happens, where you're doing that and it sends it already to this, you won't see it on your MailChimp. So, let's see. Lists. Okay, so if we come back here, let's go back. Now, let's see if it worked here. And what did I do wrong? Sometimes it takes a few minutes for this to get integrated too, so we'll try a different one.
there we go yep all right so there we go so now it's actually setting up correctly i just wanted to make sure i actually had it set up so but yeah so anyway that's where you got that and then now then from here simple easy stuff you can go in you can uh set up a campaign if you want to do a set up a campaign if you want to set up uh let's see here let's go back yeah let's do like campaign So let's see if we go next. That'd be, I guess, these. So then, yeah, create campaign. Send email, create ad. Templates. If you want to do certain templates. Then you can go and create all this. Then you can see, you know, different things. Create campaign. Create an email. Name it. Automated, welcome. Plain text, whatever you want to do. So, but yeah. So anyway, that is integrating uh, MailChimp in with your ClickFunnels account. Hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, sorry it took me a few minutes. Uh, I try to do these so that you can actually see if you know things were to happen. Um, it's realistic as compared to you know everything's already just done out and they just show you you know how it works. So anyway, if you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, make comments in the video if you liked what I have to share. Uh, please share with other people who are interested in ClickFunnels. Again, I will be giving this to you. So all you really have to do here is you just got to change this information, and then you could technically use it for a. Uh, funnel sales funnel for people who are wanting to do uh, lead generation for small businesses on you know social marketing or whatever you can just change this information uh, it's actually really easy so anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon thank you